Hello everyone, this is The Professor, and before you ask, no, I didn't put this on just for my video that I'm making right now, I put it on for my daily activities. I look good, don't I? Uh-huh, yeah, suck it loud and, oh, you think you look good? Look at this shit right here, motherfucker. <laughs> okay, Square Cow Studios. <laughs> what can we say? Um, this guy went off and went to Grow Change the Seconds video and said, oh, you hurt my feelings, I'm going to flag your video. And I made a response to him via a comment talking about, dude, you're a fucking idiot to even say you want to flag his video. What the hell is wrong with you? First, you're going to make it so people can't leave negative comments on your videos and negative comments on your channel, and now you're going to flag videos that have a negative opinion about you? What the fuck is going on here? And <clears throat> he let, and then he removed his comment from Gertange's video. So I went to his channel and continued my comment saying, so you don't like it when people state their opinions about you, so on and so forth. And I got a wall of text in form of a private message. And the thing is, it might have been a private message from him, but it came to me and I have all very fucking right to bring it out into the open. So I wanted to do something to have a little fun with this because it was one of the most genius messages ever received and sent to me <clears throat> so <clears throat> let's just read through this and get out my thoughts on what I need to say in response to this I thought about doing a private message but that figured this would be a lot more fun so he starts off saying stating your opinion is one thing but that's not what he's really doing he's attacking me if he was stating his opinion he would have said something like in my opinion or I think or she should have done this or he's wrong I looked it up and so in other words by this first paragraph you think no one can state their opinion unless of course they start off their statement by saying well in my opinion it should be this way or in my opinion it should be that way or oh da da okay dude really think about this you can state your opinion regardless of saying this shit or not you can state your opinion like me saying oh hey I don't like the Xbox that's my opinion are saying, oh, hey, Death Note sucks. That's my opinion. It's stating my opinion by just bringing it out into the open. I think sushi's freaking awesome. That's my opinion. Sushi is fucking awesome. My opinion. Same statement, just one of them had I think and one of them didn't. It's still stating an opinion. And then he goes on to say, I'll admit my reaction was probably not the best, but he hurt my feelings. <laughs> <laughs> and I wanted to get back at him. Like I said, there's a difference between what he did and what he claims he's doing. <clears throat> I love it. He hurt my feelings. Oh, God. My my internet feelings got hurt. Ah, it's the worst thing that could ever happen. Not my internet feelings. <laughs> Dude, seriously. Calm the fuck down, bro. It's the internet. Really. Oh, so what? He hurt your feelings over the internet. It's such a big deal. It's going to ruin the rest of your life because someone made fun of you on the internet. Someone said something you didn't like in the internet. Someone said something against you on the internet. It hurt your feelings. Really, you're going to be this serious about shit that's said on the internet. I hate to see what you're like off the internet if you're taking something this seriously on the internet. If you are this bad about while you're online... Imagine what you're like offline, in real life. Someone says, oh hey, you look ugly. What do you do? Run off into a corner and cry? Do you go and tell your high school principal or your middle, high, middle school, junior high principal, whatever the fuck you're in? Do you go tell them about what they said? Oh, he called me ugly. They're attacking and bullying me. <laughs> Is that how you act in real life? Because you're going to get insulted. You're going to get ridiculed for the rest of your life. All of us are. I get ridiculed still. I'm almost 30 fucking years old and I still get ridiculed. I still get made fun of. I don't go off and throw a fit about it because someone made fun of me. Really, dude, calm the fuck down. Really, seriously, calm down. There's no reason to take the internet this serious. And he said, also, he's not pointing out my flaws. He's trashing me. If he was pointing out my flaws, he would have said why he thinks it is a flaw instead of just saying, you call this an intro? All that tells me is that he doesn't like something, but it doesn't tell me why he doesn't like it. So I have no way of knowing what the actual flaw is. 
Okay, I I will admit, Grotange is not the best at just pointing out straight-up flaws, but there's a reason for that, and we'll get to it in a minute. But he actually did bring up actual valid points against what you were saying. He did bring up points, actual points, and actual flaws. Thing is, going by this statement right here, you didn't like anything he said, and the only thing I can take from that, because he actually did point out flaws and issues and raise actual points, is that you didn't like it because he was going against what you were saying. And you don't like it when someone is, is contrary to what you think and want out there. <clears throat> and then next, you got, finally, at the very end of the video, he calls me a faggot for no apparent reason. What started out as a so-called commentary all of a sudden turned into a full-on insult. He's a commentator who makes jokes. Wah. He makes jokes. Just because someone calls you a faggot, dude, seriously, calm down. It's a it's a baseless insult. If you know you're not a faggot, why take offense to it? I get called a faggot. I get called a homosexual. Dude, I've been called a pedophile. Are you kidding me? I know it's not true. I don't throw a fit about it. Because I know it's not true. I know the truth. Other people know the truth. It's not a big deal. It's the internet. You don't take the internet seriously. Why do you take this so fucking serious? Oh, wait, I think I figured it out. Because you want to be a YouTube partner. You're making the videos that YouTube partners make. <clears throat> then last on this part of the message, he says, Why would I want to keep negative comments on my videos? I read them, take what is written on them into consideration, and move on. And yes, I'm going to remove your comment because I don't want it on my channel. Since, you know, you're wrong about me. Okay, dude, seriously. I said you're going to remove comments from your channel and your video because you don't like people stating your opinion or stating their opinion about you or stating their point of view. And all I did was make a comment saying, you don't like this. I said in my opinion and my viewpoint is you're someone who doesn't like other people's opinions. That you're an idiot for wanting to flag a video down for copyright, which is just ignorance to say the least, and you removed it. I was stating my opinion and my point of view, and you're proving me correct here by stating, yeah, I'm going to remove your comment because I don't want it on my channel. I don't want your comments. I don't want your negative feedback. I only want people doing some dick sucking, ugh, dick sucking on me. That's all I want on my channel. That's exactly what I get from this. You only allow dick sucking on your channel. You are on the path to becoming a YouTube partner. You really are. Maybe you're on the way to being the new Mike Matei, because that's all he wants in his channel and his videos as well, is a little dick sucking. <clears throat> and then lastly, he gave a second comment, or a second response, following up everything he says, and this is one of the one of my favorite parts, is, This Crotange guy is a troll. Bottom line. Want proof? I don't need it. Check out this video. It's the first thing that shows up when you search for Grotage. I think it is really proves my point. I'm not the only one this has happened to. So Grotage is a troll. No shit, Sherlock. I already knew this. Everyone who knows Grotage knows that he is a troll. He's here doing one thing. Trolling. Trying to get you pissed off. And you did. And you even admit he's a troll. You admit he's a troll and that you got this giant shit fit about him making a video about you. And, oh, he called me a faggot. Oh, he made fun of me. You gave him exactly what he was looking for, son. You gave him what he wanted. He's a troll. You admitted he's a troll. <laughs> this guy, seriously, is ignorant. Honestly, I have to say he is ignorant. He has already started the whole flagging videos, which I think that might have stopped now that... And I'm surprised that I'm the one, or me and Grotange together kind of got him to stop doing the flaggings. He did flag Grotange's video. That one did get taken down for copyright as far as I know. But I don't think he's going to do it anymore. At least I hope he's not. But he's an idiot. He has this idea that opinions are only opinions if they're dick sucking or if you state it's an opinion first. You have to state it's an opinion. You can't just come out and say what you think unless you state that, oh, this is my opinion. Let me not. I'm going to tell you first. This is my opinion. Ah, ba -da -da -ba -da. That, it doesn't make any sense. Why have you got to have everything sugar coated and handheld for you? It doesn't make any sense. But then again, this is the same guy who's making destruction videos. <clears throat> videos about 
Can I drink potato chips with the magic bullet? Can I destroy a... Oh, God. And this one was sent to me last night. Fuck you, Raw Morse, for this shit. Uh, I think it was Raw Morse who sent it to me, but still. Burning a dead rat on YouTube. He, get, he has a video where he sets a rat that is dead on fire. And when it's done burning, you get to see the maggoty, decaying, disgusting corpse. He's like, look at this. It's gross. Ah, ha, ha. It's gross. I'm burning a dead rat. Ooh. What good level of maturity you got there, man. But this is the kind of shit he has on his channel. Destruction videos. He has these pointless vlogs that the comment, or not the commentary, but the YouTube partner shit. Is it possible to drink potato chips? The all-terrain vehicles. Destroying two bras. Why are you destroying bras? Did you raid your mom's drawer? Did you raid your mom's cabinets and say, this is going to be awesome? <laughs> it's just this guy. This Square Cow Studios. He's ignorant. And for being a guy who is his age, which I believe he's 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 20 years old. Good God. He's older than I originally thought he was. He's 20 years old and he's still got the maturity of burning a dead rat and showing it its maggoty corpse to YouTube is entertainment. This is the kind of level of intelligence we're dealing with people with. The fuck, and it's my generation. Well, the generation right behind me, actually. But this is the kind of level of intelligence we're dealing with. This is the level of the <clears throat> next generation of YouTube. We're going to burn a rat and that's entertainment. I'm sorry, I don't see entertainment factor and value in burning a dead rat. I don't see it. This guy is someone who just seems to want to be a YouTube partner. And he's doing every fucking thing he can to be a YouTube partner other than using sub for sub, which, don't put it past him, I ain't putting it past him, I can see him doing sub for sub here very soon. Whoring his video, his channel out. Uh, he's just one of these people that make me sick on YouTube make me sick they get all angry because you make a video about them and obviously you haven't watched my video on you <clears throat> it's out there you can check my channel there Square Cow Studios I'm sending this to you because it's a response to your comments that you gave to me so I'm gonna send this to you oh yeah you can check my video I made one on you I did I used your video, your copyrighted material, herp. And, dude, I made jokes in it. I did make some jokes. At your expense. Wang, get over it. It's called comedy. It's out there. I did make jokes at your expense in it, but I also raised up valid points and valid issues. I raised up points against you as well. That's the kind of shit you got to take into consideration. Just because they make a joke at your expense doesn't mean you need to flag it and hate it. Wang, get the fuck over. It's the internet. The internet. You're online. It doesn't matter. Focus on your real life. The shit off the internet. Don't get all angry about someone making a joke at you. They made fun of me and it hurt my feelings. Wait until you watch my video, dude. I might not have been constantly making fun of you, but dude, really, wait until you watch what I did. Wait until you that some of the shit I brought up and some of the jokes I did. So, really, I'm going to send this to you. And I really think that your ignorance is just showing in this comment that you sent to me, this private message. Your ignorance just shows from it. You need to grow the fuck up. You're 20 fucking years old. And you're throwing a shit fit about stuff on YouTube. 20 years old and throwing a fit on YouTube about someone making fun of you and hurting your feelings. Really. I would think at your age, you would be past this. Hell, I myself, in school, when I was still a teenager, got past people making insults at me. At that point, after a while, I got tired of it, and you know what? I just shut it out. I didn't care anymore what people thought of me. And you know what? To this day, I still don't care what you think of me. You gotta get past this shit, man. You're 20 years old. Bro. The. Fuck. Up. For the love of God. I've told this to teenagers who get on YouTube, these 13-year-olds who get on here and try to do shit, and I'm like, dude, grow up, get the fuck off of YouTube until you grow up and get a little maturity behind you. I guess I gotta tell you the same thing, and you're 20 years old. 
So I told them, wait until they're like 18, 19 years old. Wait until you're 40 years old to jump back on YouTube if you're this bad when you're 20. But nonetheless, guys, I'm out of time. This is Professor. I'll see you later. Adieu.